Today on Zyguys, exploring enzymes. Welcome to Sci Guys. I'm Ryan. And I'm Teresa. And today we're exploring enzymes. Hey, if I eat something with enzymes, are they eating me back? Kinda? This is a viewer requested episode. Thank you to this viewer for this experiment. An enzyme is a molecule that acts as a catalyst to speed up biochemical reactions such as digestion. The equipment and ingredients you're going to need for this experiment include gelatin, chopped fresh pineapple, if you can't find pineapple, there are other things you can use. We'll leave a list in the description. A container to mix your gelatin in. A pot. A spoon to mix. And some boiling water. Although we're not working with anything hazardous today, we always recommend using gloves, goggles, and an apron or lab coat to protect from spills or splashes. Also, for our younger viewers, get an adult's help chopping the pineapple and handling the boiling water. The first step in our experiment is to mix our gelatin. Add two packages of gelatin to your container. Pour in 700 milliliters of boiling water. Stir your solution until all the gelatin has been dissolved. This recipe makes the gelatin a little firmer than the instructions on the box. Once all the gelatin has been mixed in, place it in the fridge and leave it there until it becomes a semi-solid. While the gelatin is in the fridge, fill a pot with water and put it on the stove on high heat. Once it's reached a well, Add a couple of pieces of pineapple and let it boil for 5 to 10 minutes. Once our gelatin has cooled and is a semi-solid, we're ready to run our tests. In the first test, we're going to place fresh pineapple on the gelatin and we're comparing it to our control, which doesn't have any pineapple on it. Over the course of the time lapse, you'll notice that the test with the fresh pineapple liquefies the gelatin it comes in contact with, while the control doesn't liquefy and remains a semi-solid at room temperature. In our second set of tests, we'll compare the fresh pineapple against what happens when we place the cooked pineapple on the surface of some gelatin. As the time lapse progresses, you may see the gelatin turn clear, but if you look at the surface of the gelatin, you will clearly see that the surface has not been broken down into a liquid, like in the example with the fresh pineapple. Let's look at this experiment a little closer. Gelatin is made out of an animal protein known as collagen, which is structured in a triple helix. When you add hot water to gelatin, its heat causes the long chains of proteins to unwind. As the gelatin cools and solidifies, the collagen reforms messy and tangled, which traps water in the middle of the long chain proteins, turning what started as a liquid into a wiggly mass of semi-solid protein. Gelatin will remain a semi-solid even at room temperature, as we saw in the controls time lapse. Pineapple juice contains bromelain, which is a mixture of enzymes that digest proteins, classifying it as a proteolytic enzyme. Proteolytic comes from the root word proteo, meaning protein, and lytic from the root lysis, which means the breakdown or decomposition of. An enzyme is a biological catalyst, and catalysts accelerate chemical reactions. In the case of bromelain, its catalytic properties accelerate the breakdown of the peptide bonds that link the long-chain proteins together, breaking them down into smaller proteins. When the pineapple's bromelain comes in contact with the gelatin, it begins to break down the peptide bonds in the collagen proteins. As the long-chain proteins are cut up into smaller proteins, they gradually release the trapped water, returning our solution to a liquid state. But why didn't the cooked pineapple break down the gelatin? When pineapple is boiled, its temperature is raised very high. At boiling temperature, bromelain breaks down and will no longer be able to digest the proteins in the gelatin. Bromelain's ability to break down proteins makes it a great meat tenderizer. The longer the fresh pineapple and bromelain enzymes are left in contact with the gelatin, the more proteins will be broken down, and the more liquid will be left on the surface of our semi-solid gelatin. That's it for enzymes. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, consider supporting our next video by becoming a patron on Patreon. The link is down below. And remember to subscribe for future episodes. And if you have any suggestions for future experiments, let us know in the comments below. Also, remember to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And if you have any questions related to this episode, or about science in general, let us know in the comments below, or message us on Facebook, and we'll try to help you out as best possible. Thanks for watching. Bye! Bye! We now have some delicious pineapple and gelatin soup for dessert tonight. Mm-mm. Gross. Here at Sci Guys, we're always curious how experiments turn out. So if you do these experiments at home, share a video or photo of them with us on our Facebook or Google Plus page. But remember to always ask your parents' permission before you share any photos or videos. 